Welcome to the Red Nation International Film Festival nominations for awards. I'm Paul Audley, a member of the board of the Red Nation Celebration Institute and the president of Film LA, the regional film office for LA County. We're so proud to be a supporter of this festival and the activities that happen with it. And our board has committed its resources to supporting emerging and underrepresented filmmakers and communities, which is a particularly special group for us with the original peoples. This is an opportunity to tell the world about the history and contemporary life of indigenous people and to tell stories that cross cultural boundaries, helping to open doors to the creation of personal communications and a broader understanding of the world we live in. We send our heartfelt congratulations to all of the nominees and thank you for supporting the Red Nation Film Festival. Hello, welcome to the original home of the Tongva and the Chumash First Peoples. Hollywood has Oscar, Broadway has Tony, television has the Emmy, and Indian country has RNCI Red Nation Awards of Excellence. And the RNCI Red Nation Award goes to Hollywood and any country's biggest night for American Indian and indigenous voices, cementing native image at the forefront of the industry, highlighting the very best of American Indian and indigenous contributions in film, television, comedy, music, and the arts. RNCI Red Nation Awards will be held November 16th after our 23rd Red Nation International Film Festival. We want to thank our sponsor, Honest Engine Film. Good morning and welcome to the nominations for the 23rd RNCI Red Nation Awards. I'm Janelle Romero, and I'm an actor, director, a member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, a founder of Red Nation Celebration Institute, and president of the 23rd RNCI Red Nation International Film Festival and Awards. This has been an outstanding year for movies, actors, writers, producers, directors, not only in entertainment, but has challenges challenges us in thinking and experiencing American Indian and indigenous peoples in a new way. American Indian and indigenous filmmakers continue to rise the bar in all aspects of cinema, in front of and behind the camera. Films submitted this year are from the US, Canada, Puerto Rico, Australia, and Germany. 53 official selections 21 directed by women, and 10 student films. RNCI recognizes our film and Native communities with our tribute awards, our television awards, and our student awards. Those will be announced at the RNCI Red Nation Awards on November 16th. Please join me in welcoming our host, a. Martinez from Pow Wow Highway and Longmire, and actor Ed Bagley Jr., who has been an ally and an activist for our environment and supports Red Nation Film Festival. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Janelle. It's an honor to be here uh, to be part of announcing the nominees for the 23rd annual Red Nation Film Festival Awards. We're moments away from our first announcement, but first, let's watch the trailer for a 23rd RNCI Red Nation International Film Festival. Watch, please. There are uh, millions of people watching. <laughs> <laughs> An honor and a privilege to stand here at this film festival. It's uh, arguably probably one of the most important film festivals in this country because it allows us to see ourselves in a manner that usually is we never do. We are 
all over the world tonight. Millions of people watching. <laughs> to begin, our first category is the best animated and live action short film. And the nominees in this category are Mino Bimaad Ziwin, Guardian Ancestor, New Frontier, Just One Water, Just One Word, Raven and the Dogfish Woman. Those are the nominees. And now the best documentary short subject. The nominees are An Indigenous Response to Me Too. Cedar Tree of Life. <laughs> Hero Khan Under the Husk. Itu Maniki, Juan Sika, the nominees for performance by an actress in a supporting role, Melanie McLaren for Indian Horse, and Edna Manitowabi for Indian Horse. For nominees for performance by an actress in a supporting role, Melanie McLaren, for, very sorry, we've seen those. Performance by an actor in a supporting role are Sladen Peltier for Indian Horse, <laughs> Wayne Gossettis Baker for Indian Horse, <laughs> Rod Rondeau for Woman Walks Ahead, and David Mid Thunder for Woman Walks Ahead. Okay, we're going to take a momentary uh, break from the nominees and bring back Janelle, and she'll introduce uh, some friends. Janelle. Hello. We are so excited about this year, and um, this is our first live of our nominations, and um, <clears throat> I'd like to introduce um, this very important subject matter. During the height of the Me Too and Time's Up movement, we launched the Why We Wear Red Call to Action and Media Coalition to address the urgent crisis of murdered and missing indigenous women and the lack of inclusion of native women in media. The reason representation for native women is so vital is because we are all, we, because if we are invisible in the media, it reinforces the message that we do not matter and are therefore expandable. Did you know it has been 15 years since America has seen a native actress on episodic television? With Why We Wear Red, we want to change the narrative and through our call to action and the Red Nation International Film Festival, we are picking up momentum. Stay connected and know the facts. I'd like to bring up some special guests, one of our partners, Albrie Hicks from USC, School of Public Policy. Uh, I'm really happy to be here. I'm gonna try to be quick, because we have a lot of nominations. Um, there's a lot of films this year, 53 films, is yes. that right? Um, and this year's theme is the power of inclusion. Uh, you might wonder why someone from a policy school is interested in supporting a film festival. Um, I think the real power of democracy, even a representative democracy, is in the people. Um, I think it works better when we know all of yous. 
Uh, it works better when uh, those views are discussed openly and transparently and that those elected to represent us are held accountable. So the American dream is simple, um, but our history has shown that we've not always lived up to our ideals. Um, so the bright side is that we can clearly do better. And one of the things we can do better is to learn about our history, learn about all of the different peoples that uh, make up this great country. Um, so in our outreach programs at the Bedrosian Center at the USC Policy School, um, what we want to do is illustrate that while governance might be a really sort of weird abstract idea, um, it has these real world consequences that we face every day. And we want to talk about it through looking at film, through looking at native film, through looking at uh, books, everything. So um, as part of our partnership, um, some of the opening events for the film festival will be at USC. We're really excited about that. So check out the websites and come if you can. And we're also today starting um, a series of podcasts um, on Native American films. We're going to start with Powell Highway, starring Janelle and uh, A. Martinez. So um, that's going to be later this afternoon. So I hope you give it a listen because it's really, really important. Thanks. Red Nation International Film Festival is home to the Native Documentary Voice, and have, here are the nominees for Best Documentary Feature. The nominees are The Rise and Fall of the Brown Buffalo, <laughs> Dirt McCumber, Last of the Mohicans, <laughs> Umo Ho Ia, The Omaha Speaking. Tavishka Noet Aya Warrior's Journey. And We Are Birds, a California Indian Story. This is really exciting. I, I'm my uh, honor now to introduce the nominees for uh, Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role. And the nominees are Lily Jandro for The Rider, <laughs> Rulen Tongan for Woman Walks Ahead, <laughs> and Rosalie Person for Laka. Performance by an actor in a leading role. Michael Gray Eyes for Woman Walks Ahead. Chosky Spencer for Woman Walks Ahead. Forrest Goodluck for Indian Horse. Ajanwak Kapashisit for Indian Horse. And Nicholas Brown for Laka. These are the nominees for Achievement in Directing. Susanna White for Woman Walks Ahead. <laughs> Stephen Campanelli for Indian Horse. <laughs> Chloe Zhao for The Rider. <laughs> and S. Shaktidharan for Laka. <laughs> yeah. Now we'll take turns on these for the best picture, and the nominees are. Woman Walks Ahead. The producers are Edward Zwick, Marshall Herskovitz, Andrea Calderwood, Erica Old, and Richard Solomon. Indian Horse. The producers are Clint Westwood, Trish Dolman, Christine Habler, Paula Devonshire. The Rider produced by Caviar and Highwayman Films. And finally, Laka, and, the, and that is produced by S. Shaktidharan, I'm mispronouncing that, I'm sure, and Vanessa Hyde are the producers. 
you know, come on back up here and we're going to say goodbye and welcome people to the November 16th, correct? Yes. yes. You get the last word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Congratulations to all the nominees. Congratulations. Congratulations and we'll see you at the movies. November 16th. Yeah. Check you. out the website.